Hello and welcome to Gem Outdoors or welcome back. Today I'm going to be spending the day and the evening camping at Kingfisher Bushcraft. I've been invited here by Jeff, the gentleman who runs it, and I believe he's going to be teaching me some bushcraft skills. Good luck, Jeff. Um, and we'll just see how I get on. I've brought all my gear with me. I have no idea what to expect. We're going to be cooking over open flame and... Um, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to improving my knife skills, maybe actually learning how to put up a tarp and learning some knots. And yeah, we're just going to have a good time and uh, see how we get on. This might sound like a really stupid question. Do you have to replace that bit of wood that runs across the top of the fire? Ever? Was this? Yeah. This is about four years old. Oh my god! Yeah. Does it never just burn? Well, not yet. This is our genius makeshift camera stand. We're really bushcrafting today. Okay, so this is the Evenk hitch. So if you're a righty, you go from the left to the right. Okay, so here's the short ends and the long ends on the left. You put your hand underneath your left hand, so you're cradling it in your right hand. And you're just going to make a wrap around your right hand, like so. And you're going to drop it down, twist your hand up, pass your thumb through so you've got pinch pinch a grip, take the short end there and, and then pull the long end and then that just comes up against the tree like that. Perfect. And it's nice because it's a quick release. Yeah. So you've got the bunny ear just like the shoelaces and you've got the tail so pop it out and it's undone. Yeah. Yeah. So we've deliberately gone this way so yep. that we can use... Um, you want to splay it open, kind of like a triangle. Yep. And then the knotted ends we're going to use to wrap around the ridge line. Yep. Three times. And then we're going to bring it in. And you can see this, this bit here and that bit there. They want kind to of fold over. over. So as we're bringing it in, just dress the knot. Yeah. Just to demonstrate. Amazing. It's, it's pretty funky, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you saw me just a minute ago. Oh yeah, we this is where sticks. we use the sticks. Just a couple of sticks. Thread that through. Put that, put that, tension it. As we're going across, just so that that doesn't drop out. Yep. Just keep your hand on there. You've got this one. <laughs> <laughs> and that should be all right. You do the same thing. One. Um, so this is an A-frame of a fly. This is what we call it, A-frame of a fly. There's loads of room under there. What would you do? If it was me. Yeah. Would you use a twig? I would use a, a twig there. I love it when you use a twig and then bring it down to the ground. Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. We'll use a branch. <laughs> I know. Right. Yeah. Wrap around once. Yeah. In that direction, and I'll bring it all the way around, wrap it the other way. So now it's not this. This is not going to go either down or towards there, and that's kind of what we want. This is my little setup. Jeff and I are just sitting by the fire. Yeah. And he is ripping me. Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> because of my head torch. <laughs> it's huge. It's, it's the biggest thing you've ever it's seen. It's like the biggest thing ever. And the battery pack on the back, it's not the most comfortable, is it? No. <laughs> Does the job though. <laughs> so, day two. 
Um, so I slept here last night. I set up a tarp. I, th I think I got some footage. I've not been very good at filming because there's been people around and I get a bit embarrassed and a bit awkward. But um, yeah, so first night sleeping under a tarp. I was really lucky it was quite mild last night. I did get woken up by quite a frightening sound, which apparently was a deer calling. Was it calling or what would you call that, Woo? Barking. Barking. There we go. The deer was barking and I was like, what the hell is that noise? Absolutely pooped my pants. But yeah, got back to sleep, which is fine. Um, yeah, I slept, I slept really well. And then we've got up this morning, we've made some breakfast on the fire um went for a walk and we've just been chopping up some wood so my first time with an axe <laughs> poor jeff <laughs> but yeah he let me loose with the axe and i will show you the wood that we've just chopped up and now he's going to teach me how to do some feather sticks which is uh cool here is all the, the stuff that we <laughs> stuff the wood this is the wood that we've just chopped up i wasn't um I wasn't very good with the axe, to be honest. I'm a bit of a wimp and I'm just a bit nervous because I don't want to chop my leg off or anything. Ideally, we don't want to go to the hospital. But yeah, this is it. Just a little set up. It's awesome, so cool here. Oh, I just took off half my shavings. Oh, I've taken them all off now, pretty much. <laughs> this is probably one of the most frustrating things I think I've ever attempted to do. Yeah. Yeah, take it all off and start again, Jim. I think I'm just too heavy handed. It's my problem in life, generally. is a fairly cool skill to have. It's a really cool skill to have. I don't have it. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. That's pretty cool. Something to work on. <laughs> We're just getting our wood all ready. Mm. Nearly. I've learned so many new skills being here. It's just been awesome. And I feel a lot more confident about going out um, and wild camping on my own now that I've, you know, I've learned a few knots, how to put up a tarp, um, you know, how to use my knife properly. And obviously now how to make some feather sticks, which will help if I ever need to build a fire or whatever. So yeah, it's just been awesome. Really enjoyed it.